Previously on We Sail, we found ourselves out at sea, days passing by as we navigated through rolling waves. Uncertain if we were making any progress or just adding more miles. Welcome back as we continue our journey to the Marquesas for the second time. Thanks for joining us and remember to hit that subscribe button. Enjoy! We are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, it's a rough morning but we have great winds and from a pretty good direction I mean 30 knots of wind yeah I mean it's the solid. Prediction, prediction was gonna be like max 18, 18 like, 19 okay <gasps> yeah oh, no. I feel like this has been my existence I've been like bedridden we both have spent a lot of time right, right. here <laughs> like this has definitely been our safe spot it's just yeah. been so comfortable right here. It's good here because you get a little bit of air. We were like almost midship aft, so it's not a lot of movement, but and like, a lot less noise. If I go down below into the Ooh. bed, it is. It sounds like this boat is just getting ripped apart. The noises are really oh. insane. I wish we could capture some of this, but the noises are. Oh man. I'm ready for quiet. Quiet, settled. I know. Calm. Yo, we're almost there. We're like uh, we're like 60 miles away from Kiva Oa, but it's directly into the wind, so it's like just it's, we can't get there. We got to. It's the most frustrating thing for me. I think <gasps> overall. Yeah. Is we're like, so close. We're here, but we're gonna go here to get there. I like. Yeah, it's this just. This is the part of sailing that I can't. Could could let go uh -huh, of. Yeah. Could leave behind. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. We. 60 miles away, but directly into the bin, which means we're having to tack back and forth oh, to get up there. It's maddening. It is maddening. But you love it. I do. Like, I, I do. do. <laughs> Freaking love it. Oh, man. Uh, I'm proud of us, honey. That's the thing. We're just, we're, we're making it happen. Again. <laughs> like, I'm um, a broken record for saying the same thing last year. We're doing thing, something not a lot of people do, and we're, we're nailing it, though. We're sailing, man. This is what it takes. We can't. It can't be downwind and blue skies and rainbows every day. Yeah, but we, it can be, but we just... <laughs> but we don't let it. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry if this is getting repetitive, especially with going back up to the Marquesas for now the third time, but we're doing, we're going to do our very best to keep it fresh and keep new stuff happening. And really from here on out, a whole lot of new stuff is happening. We're going home. We're going to the BVI's for a trip. Then when we get back here, we're doing a bunch of new boat work, and then we're heading off for new areas. So, and, and continuously, we're heading towards New Zealand. There's a whole lot of islands in between us and them, so it'll be fresh, I promise you. We'll keep it new and awesome. I'll be a little bit more... I hope so. you got to buck up, man. <laughs> you got to move out of this spot a little bit. No, You'll be fine. We're almost there, baby. We got this. Woo! Okay, this might get a little awkward, but I just have to like show you how challenging it is to go to the bathroom sometimes. Ooh. Um, it's a lot of movement and our head is near the bow of the boat. So yeah, Either <laughs> you gotta hang on. So, excuse me. Well, the trick is, is get in and out as fast as you can. <laughs> oh my. Well, part of, in my opinion, part of what makes a good captain is being able to keep his boat in really good order. I think it's part of good seamanship, honestly, is to keep your boat in good working order. And, uh, so we're constantly watching for things that might fail or are in, in jeopardy, any sort of issues that might be coming up, obviously, that goes without saying, I think. And I, you know, sometimes we can catch them and sometimes we can't. Like the jib sheet lock that broke the other day, I didn't catch that. And there's nothing I really could have done even if I did catch that it had cracks in it. Um, so I have found something, I'll show, oh God, okay. 
This blue line here is my second reef line. When we are on a second reef and this thing is down and we're on a starboard tack, meaning that the wind is coming from our starboard side, this guy rubs terribly right there, right here, right on the topping lift. That's that gray line. It rubs terribly there and uh, it's no good. So what I'm gonna do, the only thing I can come up with I don't like the way it's mounted. This topping lift has to get changed. And actually, I know that this is how it was done on my old boat, so that's how I got this idea. I'm gonna drill holes right here and on the other side, and I'm gonna have two mounting points back here rather than up here where they're in the way of these reef lines. So I'm gonna mount them back here, eliminate all that rubbing altogether. And uh, if that reef line was to give out, man, that'd be real tough to, uh, to fix in a storm at least. We'd have to go down to the third reef or if it broke through the topping lift, that also could be really tough because that goes up through the mast and down. Whew, that'd be a nightmare. So I'm gonna get on that today. And that's just part of owning a boat, you know? I think that's being a good captain, part of. Consider that fixed. Right on, on to the next. another way around it. We can't sail directly into the wind and unfortunately it literally the island is directly upwind. Sailing they said. Go sailing they said. It's fun so they fun. said. Ah come on we're having a blast. Everything's great. 
And we're doing it in a shade under 10 days, which is really amazing. <laughs> Got to be happy about that, huh? Yep. Right now we're winning, big time. We're winning? <laughs> we're winning! Say it different. We're winning? You still have that upward inflection. Don't say it like a question. A statement. We're winning! Harder. We're winning! There you go! You're closer. <laughs> we're winning! We're winning! <laughs> <laughs> little bit frustrated that we're within the last well the last 24 hours of an otherwise pretty flawless sail if we're honest we have sailed a lot of conditions and the last day we have zero wind zero zero wind it's crazy Hence the, uh, the motor, motor oh, and this. banging around We are motoring, which I hate. It frustrates me. But oh my god! It would be really tough out here if it wasn't for us motoring. I mean, it's still kind of tough, but we're getting there. We're actually able to move directly towards the island. Oh my the, god! What? For the first time in nine days. For the first time in nine days, we are moving directly to where we want to go because there's no wind. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm pretty excited. It's good to see the side of land, and it's just like the home stretch. And I do know, I know how you feel where it's like a home stretch. You just want to like sail it in, bring yeah, it in, you bring know. It in. Instead, we're like Meh, tail between our legs <laughs> with the sails kind yeah. of flopping around, the motors going. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're one more day, mm. and then more we're day. there. And then what? Party. <laughs> really, Warren? You want to party? No, I want to. I want to clean up the boat so bad. Oh, it is. Give her a wash bad. down and start taking care of her because she's got some issues. What's going on? We've got uh, both water pumps are sucking air. I don't know what is causing it, but they're both having issues, and I have to like prime the the water system every time not every time but far too often when we start the motors we're also having a fuel delivery issue which for sure is related to a bunch of gunk in our tank and we've taken the our tanks pretty low the last two times we've done this and uh we're just we've got we've sucked up a bunch of gunk in there so i've got to empty the tanks and take the access lid off of there and clean the whole tank out not going to be a great job but that's got to happen and then uh, clean all the fuel and put it back in and uh, let's see what else is happening we drain that battery that starter battery for some reason there's something drawing on it so i had to jump it today to get it going uh little things like that yeah. i mean the boat's just collected a, a season's worth of cruising on her so it's now time to layer up and do some good work so, your turn. What's exciting, what's frustrating, what's on your mind, and what can you not wait for? I mean, I'm definitely excited to be still again, and I'm excited to clean this boat. I'm excited to have no noise. <laughs> no movement. No movement. Um, look, oh my god, I'm going to go mad. That noise. <laughs> <sighs> I am looking forward to going home and spending some time with family and friends. It's been, what, two years since we've been home? Yeah. So that'll be nice, although I truly love it out here. I could spend a lot more time, um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can plan when we get into Anchor? Yeah. 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 We have five days. We get in tomorrow. We have like five or six days until to party? we get to clean and organize and pack and then go and party. Yeah, sure, we'll party a little. Just you and me, baby. All right, we can party just the two of us. Okay. Speaking of which, how's that sundowner drink? You want one? Yes. Let's get one. All right. You make it or I do. You do it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay.
Oh my God, what just happened? I feel like a human again, finally. Uh, after many, many days of probably not showering. Doesn't feel very good to be honest with you, but now I feel fresh and a little revitalized. So yeah, let's talk about why this sale has been so challenging, at least for me. Yeah, so I've been a pretty miserable person on this passage and now that we're here and now that we've had quite a lot of time to think about it and talk about it um, there's some things that kind of were like deep within me that surfaced and unfortunately it didn't make for a very pleasant passage for me I think and that is a different story for Warren but I believe this was a trip that we knew we were going to take, we've had said this before, like we're coming back up to the Marquesas for cyclone season because we are leaving the boat for a couple of months and we feel like this is the safest place to leave the boat while we're gone. But we've done this passage before and we knew the challenges from before and you'd think that knowing that, that we'd be a little bit better prepared for this time around again. But there's just some things, some factors that you know are going to be tough on people and for one I have to say is like trying to get from point A to point B and normally it's a straight line but that hasn't been the case so I'll let Warren dive into that one. We started off in the Tuamotos and we had to travel about 500 miles to the Marquesas and that's mostly northwest. The problem is that that's exactly where the wind was coming out of so we were predominantly fighting a headwind most of the way up here. So that 500 miles, because we had to tack, turned into more like 1,200 miles over the whole journey. The other problem with going straight into the wind, not only is it challenging enough on its own, but it means that you're also going into the waves, because generally the waves are traveling with the wind. They're created by the wind. So that means that we're bashing into it. And the noises on this boat, most boats, it can get uh, horrific at times. for some of us to sleep. Yeah, the lack of sleep, honestly, has been really tough. Now, also admittedly so, I am not the hero of this passage. Warren is hands down because he ended up taking pretty much all the night watches and then he slept throughout the day. But for me, I have tried to sleep in every possible spot on this boat. I found that maybe <laughs> if I slept up here, the noises would be significantly less. And then down below, I just, every time I laid my head down and closed my eyes, the bow of the boat would be bashing into the waves and it sounded like this boat was going to rip apart. And so I slept here, I slept outside, I slept down below. Maybe okay? Uh, Tired. Just exhausted? Yeah. Okay, well, we got a beautiful day. Okay. We're moving. So rest up, okay? Yeah. Get some sleep. You need anything? Mm-mm. Okay, babe. And there was just, the lack of sleep is really tough on anybody, for that matter. And we're almost there. I can feel it. So this, this is my heaven. This is my spot that I found that uh, I like the best. It, not only is the view great, but really, I can just look up here and I can see what the wind's doing. I have a pretty good view of the autopilot and everything. So this has been where I spent most of my time and, and done my, uh, well, all of the night watches, actually. And uh, I have a nice breeze coming in. So this has been definitely my sweet spot. Also, aside from the, uh, the noise of the water, which I quite enjoy, actually, 
a lot of the boat noises um, don't exist here. The slapping of the hull and all the blocks and pulleys that are making all the noise. So this has been a quite enjoyable spot for me, honestly. And uh, yeah, this is it. The other stuff is, for me, in terms of mentally, um, this trip back up to the Marquesas marks a pretty significant move on our future and our destinations thereafter. Um, we left Morea, and Morea has become one of my most favorite places. Like I truly, truly feel like it's a bit of a home for me. So leaving that place was really tough. Um, so I think mentally, me trying to like cope with that, and then we've also developed a pretty awesome group of people like our little sailing community that we've come to know and we've come to really enjoy being in the presence of them for me is the hardest bit of sailing is that aspect of the comings and goings of people out here that you meet um, so that it's been hard for me to leave not only a place that i've really really loved and i want to call home but leaving the people um, as well. And I know we'll see them along the way, but it just means it's a different, it's a different path for us. And then, admittedly so, I had my period on the passage and that is just no fun. So you can imagine my irritability and my sensitivity to all, everything going on. So yeah, so that didn't really help. So then also when it comes to eating, um, we end up nibbling and snacking more than anything because honestly I can't be bothered trying to have my power stance making food when the boat is bouncing up and down and it's crazy hot in here because we have to have the windows shut. So um, we've eaten a lot less and probably drank a lot less water than we should. We heard a noise outside. We were outside. We heard a noise inside and uh, came in and the whole thing of eggs had no. jumped out and spilled. Gross. So, it's a rough trip, man. Fell from over there. I'll keep this outside. And stuff oh. So I know my cooking hasn't been grand, <laughs> but... Uh, we survived. We did survive. Yeah. Are you looking forward to any sort of meal? Should we go to shore and have a meal or what? Yeah. Pizza and a burger. Pizza and a burger? Bur no. a pizza burger? Pizza burger. I hope they have that here. We'll see. They are <laughs> usually pizza and burgers are not hard to find. And french fries. That's right. <laughs> They're staple food here. Mm, my mouth is watering for that. I am looking forward to that. Yeah. And we're just going to make it in time for lunch. No 10 o'clock now. We'll be in there by noon. <sighs> okay. Yep. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. You sure? Well, we're to land now, so yeah, everything gets <laughs> washed away. <laughs> so out All at, grievances yeah. go away. Out at sea, when it's just the two of us, and we don't have Starlink, <laughs> or have any motivation to do pretty much anything else, there's a lot of time to think. <laughs> and or to nitpick. nitpick on each other, and it's not healthy admittedly so i'm not proud of it i'm not happy and uh yeah we've had some differences out here and we're like any other couple we're like any other married couple like we bicker we have our fights we have our arguments but short tempers low on sleep not the best yeah. diet it's just know. the way it goes it is the way it goes so sorry for what i said while we were out sailing <laughs> it's all good me too but yeah. Oh God! Oh, don't ah! know it. <laughs> Dang it! This has been our life Watch for nine the days. Watch the camera. Mind the camera. You did good. You got it I out. Did. Just I got time. it right out of the Are way. Are you okay? You covered? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Thanks for checking. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been a rough passage for me. I know it has been for me, but for Warren, it's a different story. I I quite enjoyed myself. Yeah. Did you talk about the expectations? No, actually, go for it. I've said this before, and I love this. I drew inspiration from a Scandinavian quote that said, there is no bad weather, only bad clothing. And I thought, for sure, there's no bad passages. There's only bad expectations. And it certainly has proven itself this time around because I, I knew full well what to expect given 
uh, that we did this last year. I knew it was going to be tough. I, I figured we would spend about 10 days out here. It's been nine. And so the fact that I kind of had that mindset from the get-go certainly for me has made it easier. So, yeah. 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 I don't it. know why I didn't take that advice. You couldn't wrap your head around it and your heart around it. No. Maybe next time. Maybe <laughs> next time. You think there's going to be a next time? There's going to be many more rough passages. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> but we made it back to work. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Well, we've recovered from the sale and pretty much forgotten about how nasty it was. <laughs> we are prepping to haul out tomorrow and have a pretty long list of stuff that just has to happen every time you haul out. Other things that, you know, we, we want to work on and try and fix before we leave. All right. Um, it is time. I'm going to lift the anchor. Um, yeah. So we are going to head over to the ramp and wait for the trailer. Oh, that's crazy. We're so high up. Wow. <laughs> 